Okay, so you saw that uh, where I entered this, like I said, we hit our target. And uh, again, this is based not on time-based uh, bars. It's basically what we call uh, wrinkle bars. But this is not your regular wrinkle bars. This is what, I, what I'm using here is a logic bar, a logic wrinkle bar. And this is not free. I have the, I had this a long time ago, and so what wrinkle bars do? They eliminate the noise from the time-based bars, so you can see it nice and clean. And that's what I like about this, especially during when you have like this type of session or during the holiday se session when you have a lot of noise when you look at the time-based candles. So these are not time-based. This is more like I said, the range. So each of these bars is composed of 14 ticks. Like I said, I showed you what this was. Um, let me see here. Right here, data series, you can see here, uh, it's called Logic Ultimate Wrinkle, 14 brick size, that's what it is. So each size is 14. And what I, what I like about this is shows you where you really expected, you know, the range of this bar right there, right? So you can go, you can put maybe, um, you know, limit orders, right? So that's what those are. See, we hit there now. We're out, now we're creating another bar here, and you see, there's the expect move up there. Okay, so that's what these are. So you can see what's going on here. So looks like it's going up. We're getting higher lows. So we're like, again, you see the supply drying up, but we still have a selling imbalance to the downside. We still have strong, you know, um, cumulative downside to the downside. So let me pull back here and they can continue coming down. So that's what this is. It gives you a, a clear view and it works really well with uh, Mbox Wave as well. And the reason I'm using this is because the new system that I'll be supporting uses um, uh, Uni Wrinkle and it eliminates a lot of noise. And that's the reason why I, I just wanted to show that the Wrinkles actually work in. Um, with the uh, the um, view app deviation levels as well, and as well as Mbox Wave, and you don't have to have Mbox Wave because you can also have it on um, the the template I gave you guys. In fact, if I create another chart here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, there you go. So there's here are your zones, the, your fair value gap zones. You can see how it bounces off. Again, this is on a uh, not a two minute chart, but a logic wrinkle chart, right? A wrinkle chart. Um, you can see you have a lot of moves here. You have uh, high or lower highs. So when you see this lower high bouncing off here, you know that you can take a trade here. Stop would be up here, and you can see it would just be going down. That would have been a great trade. Same thing here. See it be breaking this uh, swing here all the way down, comes back up. Again, you could have taken a trade here now coming down and you've still gotten the 13, 14 points, right? That would be right here. Uh, a few ticks maybe right there and you take a trade and you'll see that is 21 points. You would have hit your two targets. So that's why wrinkles are actually pretty cool. In fact, I'm uh, beginning to incorporate this now. And uh, I'll provide, uh, you, I think you guys can either get a Ninja wrinkle or a Uni wrinkle, and I'll find out what exact settings it should be, okay? Uh, for the get wrinkles, you can see a smooth, and you can see everything here. You see this? We have the signal going down, gonna get gotten here. And uh, very smooth. Not a lot of noise like with the time-based charts. That said, I will talk to you guys uh, next week. In fact, uh, since today is Friday, it will be next year. Enjoy the New Year's Eve. Stay safe and God bless. See you next year. Bye-bye.